it means continuity for the class, and that's really what they, they stress is that you're bringing people from 100 years past and working them into the future. I had an interesting conversation with an old grad today that said um, they don't want their ring to get lost in their house and then have you know their third generation from them not treasure it. And so in order to continue uh, with their experience with West Point, they're going to donate the ring so that it doesn't get lost. I think we're prepared to know like kind of the symbolism of the event tomorrow, but I definitely think that after talking to some of the donors, we get their perspective and it just makes it 10 times more real. And I think it's definitely necessary to have it away and kind of make it a weekend because um, it is a big event. And I think if it was just on post and it was kind of smaller, we wouldn't get the real symbolism of what was going on. 29 and a butt rings were donated to this year's ring melt with Mr. Jose Sanchez from the class of 1965, 2015's 50 year affiliation class, placing a piece of his ring into the crucible. The earliest ring of the program dates from 1896 and donated rings have been worn in four of the 20th century's major wars. To date, 322 rings have been donated and melted. Each year, a sample is extracted from the ingot of melted rings and then added to the melt of the following year to ensure that gold from all ring melts going back to the inaugural ceremony in 2001 is included in the production of rings for the upcoming first class. Once all the rings have been placed into the crucible, it is placed into a 2000 plus degree furnace where the rings melt into molten gold. That liquid is then poured into a mold to form a gold bar which is polished and prepared before being presented to the class officers. Upon receiving the gold bar from the refinery, the class officers hand it over to a representative from the manufacturing company that will be making their class rings. The ring melt creates both a physical and symbolic bond between members of the long gray line, ensuring that the precious tradition of duty, honor, country will remain forever strong and pure. I was overwhelmed with the uh, amount of emotion that the various donors, as well as uh, my classmates, uh, uh, felt. And uh, after talking to the cadets, they seemed to uh, catch it too. It was a very deeply felt ceremony. I think it's for those of us who were actually here, it, it was uh, something that will live with us for a long while to come. After hearing the stories of the donors, it really changed uh, my perspective. We knew that this was going to be an emotional event for many when they came in, but to actually see those expressions and hear those stories uh, behind the rings, and then to know that that, that tradition and that lineage is going to continue into the rings that we have, it, it truly is an amazing thought to comprehend. It absolutely exceeded my expectations. Just the privilege to be here with all of these graduates and uh, members of my class and all of these members of the Long Gray Line is a really incredible opportunity. And just the tangible expression of that history through the ring melt I think is a really special event. Just one outstanding ceremony. Uh, the, uh, the cadets from the class of 2015 just did a fantastic job. AOG in organizing this uh, did a great, great job. Uh, the people here at the foundry and the tour was uh, something that was extra special. And uh, we're just so happy as a class uh, to have participated in this. At some point it becomes uh, an opportunity to uh, donate it so that the ring becomes part of the long gray line, do it.